Thank you for those who were both excellent speeches. Um, you made me think of another story. And, and my, you know, I when I was 20, I was going to university, and after my third year, I did what a lot of American kids of my generation did. I decided to save up money. I worked in a factory so that I could take a trip to Europe. I got a Eurail pass, and I spent two months going around and. One of the benefits of this, apart from seeing all of the great sites and history of Europe, was that I figured out what I wanted to do with my life. Because when I was 20, I didn't know what I was going to do. My mother and father were getting extremely worried because they were spending a lot of money on my education, and they were kind of saying, what are you going to do? And I said, don't know, don't know, don't know. Anyway, on a train going from Paris to Barcelona one night, I met two girls. And we were, uh, they were doing the same thing that my, my uh, colleague and I were doing, which is trying to save a night of, of uh, hotel by taking a night train so that uh, we would get there. You could get tired the next day, but it was okay. Anyway, we met these two girls. And my wife was very questioning about this when I got back because I was already going out whether we weren't married, but she said, two girls, oh, okay. Anyway, uh, we started talking about what we were going to do when we grow up, and one of them said, have you thought about the diplomatic service? And I said, what's the diplomatic service? <laughs> it's a true story. You know, and I tell, often when I go back to the States, people say, so you knew from the moment you were born that you wanted to be an ambassador or a diplomat? And I said, I didn't know what the hell I wanted to do. My point, and the reason I, I tell you this story, is that I think a lot of people don't figure out what it is they really want to do with their lives until much later than people think. Now, I know many of you are going to go to university and you're going to study, but one of the advantages of an open society and one of the advantages of, of what you have done is that you understand, your minds are open, you see possibilities. You shouldn't be channeled down one path that somebody else wants you to go. You need to be open to new ideas. And I think in this crazy world that we live in, the opportunities often will be there if you can, if you can grab onto them. I finish with telling you the great story about Bill Gates. You know, Bill Gates went to Harvard for th seven semesters, and he dropped out with one semester to go. And his father was a doctor and had raised the money to put him through Harvard. And Bill came and said, you know, Dad, I'm tired. I'm going to drop out. And I know because I saw an interview with his dad. His father said, he said, after almost having a heart attack, I said, why, Bill? Why do you want to drop out? He said, I want to develop software. This is like 1977. And so his dad said, Bill, what is software? Anyway, uh, the father was a very good father, and he said, Bill, if that's what you want to do, I hope you'll go back eventually to school, but I'll support you with what you want. And then Bill went down to the local bank and asked for a $15,000 loan. And the banker said, what do you want to do with that? And he said, I want to develop software. And the banker said, what software? <laughs> anyway, the father co-signed for the loan. Bill got his loan. And the rest is history. Microsoft and all the rest that goes on. He had an idea, but he had an openness to life and an openness to what he wanted to achieve. And uh, you know, there's a lot of other stories like that, but the Bill Gates story is a great one. Do not drop out of school. Most people don't do well when they do that. <laughs> Bill Gates is the exception. But uh, do your very best, and uh, I wish you all the best. So now they've given, Tuck's given me a glass of uh, champagne. Uh, I'm supposed to give a toast. If you don't have a glass, it's a virtual toast. You could raise your hand. Here's to all of you. Here's to the Flex. Here's to your future. Here's to Ukraine. Bonne